Always a special day on the calendar. Champions League final day, and it's a privilege to be bringing the game to you. My name's Derek Ray, joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. The atmosphere is building to fever pitch just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Manchester City taking on Chelsea. Well, it's an absolute pleasure, Derek. Excited to be here. Hopefully, we get the game that this tournament deserves. And now the Champions League final commences. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Alexander Zinchenko starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Raheem Sterling plays with Riyad Mahrez on the flanks. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Aspili Quetta starts with Ben Chilwell in the fullback positions. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, he was so sharp, the goalkeeper there, wasn't he? What a wonderful save. That's a short corner. Bernardo Silva. Foden. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. And a throw-in it's going to be. Well, his star has been on the rise for the last few years, Kevin De Bruyne. Lee, in particular, what do you like about his style of play? I absolutely like everything about this lad, the way that he plays the game, his attitude, all of that stuff. But I don't think he's a better passer of the ball and seer of passes of the ball than him in world football. And I'd say that with a lot of competition. He is absolutely brilliant at finding the pass. Went in strongly, decisively. Not a good pass. Walker. Bernardo Silva. Mares. Could play it in. Oh, he fancies his chances. City get the corner. It's a short one. De Bruyne. Sterling ready. Oh, tremendous block. Well, he took care of it defensively. Jorginho. Oh, terrific pass. Courageous. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. The decision is yellow card. The referee must have thought there was additional cover there. It wasn't the denial of a goal-scoring opportunity. Well, I'm looking around for that man you're talking about, Derek. He looks like the last man to me. from long range he didn't miss by much Lee no I thought the ball would be coming into the box but long range free kick he's had a go Bernardo Silva Foden Sterling and the attacking options appear plentiful can he put them in front still possibilities Jorginho in behind for him to chase well beating his opponent are they going to forge ahead and a goal for Chelsea they've hit the front in the Champions League final oh they've got the noses in front can they keep it well here we'll see it again there's two parts to every game with and without the ball they've soaked up a lot of pressure today but they've got their reward so underway once again, Chelsea with the lead in this match. Sterling. It is the game that the world truly focuses on. The Champions League final, 
Only two teams left in the quest for European glory. Who's it going to be tonight, Lee? Well, it's a toss of a coin for me. It's a really big night for everybody. All that hard work leading up to pre-season training, going through your domestic league, playing Champions League on and off, the winter break, all of that culminates in tonight. Very, very big night for everybody concerned, supporters, but most so the players. They have to stay focused, play the game, not the occasion. Jorginho. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Havertz. It's Callum Hudson-Odoi. Werner. Jorginho. Excellent ball over the top. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one-versus-one one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. Over it comes. And completely misfired with that one. A long way off target. Yeah, but it goes in the top corner and your hero is worth an effort. Given away by City. Conte. Oh, he's through here. Pulls it back. Oh, that would be straightforward for any keeper. Walker. Bernardo Silva. Can they hit on the break? And he's broken free. And a goal! And what an important goal in the grand scheme of things. Well, it's the sort of determination and desire that's got them here. All the momentum is with them now. Well, look at this. Don't you just love counter-attack football? Absolutely brilliant. One key ingredient, pace. And they've got it in abundance. What they do to that defence from then on is absolutely brilliant. So, a level contest. 1-1. Chilwell. Here's Christensen. Timo Werner. And a good looking ball. And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. Bernardo Silva. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Jorginho. It's Callum Hudson-Odoi. Timo Werner. Jorginho. Lost possession. De Bruyne. Fernandinho. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Foden. De Bruyne. And caught by the keeper. A good and fair challenge. And the counter looks on here. Options available. End product or not. Oh, he's given it. Penalty. And an opportunity now for them to jump in front. Penalty given and yellow card handed out. And a goal! He was composure personified and he's done his job from the spot. Well, here's the replay, Derek. They say a good penalty is one that goes in. But that was always going to be the case here as the keeper gambles early and goes the wrong way. Easy penalty in the end. So City get things going again and the onus is on them to erase the damage done by that concession. Veering in field, Raheem Sterling. Stout defending by Aspili Quetta. 
Now can they counter clinically? Conte has lost the ball. Mares. Firing it in. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. And the referee has given them a corner. It's a short one. Bernardo Silva. Here's De Bruyne. Perfect challenge. Conte. Now with Havertz. Lost possession. Foden. And snuffing out the danger. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Opportunity it is. It's got to be. Can they cover up? Threat over for now, it seems. Bernardo Silva. Sterling has it. And continues his run. Moving the ball nicely. Trying to carve out the equaliser. Fernandinho. City move it forward with purpose. And a long way out here. Well kept out. Well, a goal for City from the corner would really change the complexion of this game. Taken short. And whipped into the box. Punching it clear. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Showing teamwork and commitment. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Jorginho. Ziyech. Werner. Is it going to be Pulisic? And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Stones. Bernardo Silva. And Chelsea did well to regain control of it. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. Sterling. High quality defending. Jorginho. Here is Zuma. It is to be a throw-in. Bernardo Silva. And now Kevin De Bruyne. In with a chance. It's got to be. They've got themselves back into it. A lifeline in this game. And this could be a dramatic finale. Well, as we see it again, the one-two is so hard to stop when it's done like that. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. They can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. How can they open up the defence here? Less than convincing defending. Play towards the near post. Great chance with that header, but he sent it wide of the post. Well, it's quite easy to head that one over the bar. This time he just gets his angles wrong, just past the post. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left and just one goal between the sides. It's a promising City move. Sterling. Can he finish? The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Time is not on the side. This corner could help the prospects as they look for an equaliser. Over the touchline for a throw-in. And Bernardo Silva has it. 
Just not looking confident in possession. Oh, great vision. And space here on the flank. And he's taken it away. Mares. Oh, he's really opened them up here. This could be the equaliser. It's still a line. And on the volley, that's not exactly how he intended to catch it. Well, it's worth a chance. One in ten, it goes in the top corner. Nine out of ten goes where it did do. He's showing good defensive judgment. And he's in. Turn to the high altar of European football. Champions League winners. Well, you have to say they deserve it as well. All those training sessions, that toil earlier in the season, the 10 months of the season or so, and now they've got the rewards. Be respectful to the opposition as well. Make sure you congratulate them on a good final before you celebrate with your teammates. A night these Chelsea players will never forget. Well, now for the official presentation. And as a footballer, Lee, in this case, as a Chelsea footballer, this is exactly where you'd want to be. Well, exactly. Getting on to that podium, huge amount of effort to get there. But this is, the, this is the icing on the cake. Actually watching your captain pick the trophy up, sharing in that moment. It's a beautiful trophy as well, Derek. It's Chelsea's moment. Champions League winners this season. And my goodness, they deserve it. Brilliant moment. They'll be celebrating long into the night, I'm sure. And then, believe it or not, they'll be focusing in the next few days on next season, no doubt. That's how it works. But for now, it's all about this achievement. Well, this is the moment I love, sharing it with the fans. The ticker tape's coming down, the family's in the stand, giving them all a wave. Well, they've travelled all over Europe watching this team. Now they get to share in this moment. Fantastic. Well, it took fire as well as ice.